Swords of Revealing Light is different from pretty much every other Yu-Gi-Oh cards for a few reasons. First, this is a normal spell that behaves nothing like a normal spell, but rather like a continuous spell. It stays active for three full turns, after which it will self-destruct, making it an anomaly considering early card design. Actually, the designers of this card felt like making this a continuous spell wasn't really necessary at first, but they did correct this when they created the retrain of Swords of Revealing Light, Swords of Concealing Light. The card is quite similar to its counterpart, but with almost the exact opposite effect and lasts for one less turn. Despite that, none of these cards linger so they can both be stopped by removal, so the good old MST negate meme is real here. Also, I don't know if you know this, but Swords of Revealing Light actually holds a record for being the card that stayed the longest in the limited section. It started off being semi-limited in 2002 and then got limited in 2003 to then stay there all the way until 2011, where it went back up to 2. 8 years being limited, huh? That's a feat and a half. 